good afternoon, good evening, or good night, wherever you are in the world. We are making the scrummiest, most yummiest Sunday dessert boat. And you're gonna be like, Sam, what is a boat? Aha! Uh -huh. So a couple of years ago, I came back off holiday one year and found out my local ice cream shop or parlour if you're in America actually does them and they're called ice cream sundae boats so it's just a plastic boat shaped dessert tray and ever since then I've called them ice cream sundae boats so yeah, let's make our banana ice cream sundae split if you are new here, well you just gathered, my name is Sam if you are new here to the channel why not subscribe? Lots of fun, amazing little challenges, taste tests, reaction videos, and recipes. Lots and lots of recipes for you to enjoy. The chocolate playlist will be somewhere either at the end of the video or on one of the cards above. Sit back, relax, and enjoy. And let's get on with my speciality Sunday. And you just go boom. Go and get your ice cream sundae or banana split in this case. So that's the lid and this is the bottom. Today we are using vanilla ice cream along with some brand new, brand spanking new, not even open, Ben and Jerry's chocolate fudge brownie. Cannot go wrong, cannot go wrong. Of course we're going to need an ice cream scooper. Fresh whipped cream. Gonna be throwing some Haribo chocolate. Chocolate, I don't know about Haribo sweets into the mix. We have some lovely smarties to put on the top. Bit of galaxy raspberry, raspberry, oh that's ice cream, never mind, galaxy ripple, not raspberry ripple, we'll be having some of that on there, might even throw some galaxy chocolate crumble, I mean if you're lucky, I mean why not, lots and lots of different flavoured sauces, we've got toffee going on, strawberry going on and chocolate going on. So that's going to be a nice touch. And last but not least, you cannot forget the hundreds and thousands of sprinkles, guys. That is what we are working with, and that is everything on the menu. Let's get making. I was going to say baking or cooking, but we're not cooking, and we're not even baking today. This is our fresh ingredients, guys. Let's go. Even throw in some plain crushed up digestives into the mix. How about that? How about that? Guys, I think I'm losing the plot. I've just told you the name of the actual thing we're making and the main ingredient that's in the title. I forgot to tell you, we got bananas. This is my life. Anyway, moving on. <coughs> Actually, you wouldn't have thought all oh, this is actually going to fit in our ice cream boat Sunday. When I got mine from the shop, it was pretty packed. So we're going to work with it and we're going to see what we can fit in our boat. Here we go. So guys, moving all this out of the way just for now, so you can see what I'm about to do. We are going to get our... This uh, digestives out make a little bit of a mess and a little bit of a bang with our meat beater today it's going to be a biscuit beater and it goes BB we're not gonna have loads but we're just gonna have a nice little base and if you want me to do more desserts like this, let me know down in the comments and let me know what your favourite Ben and Jerry's ice cream is. I'll tell you ours, which is um, 
chocolate fudge brownie obviously and the swish up which is oh I've just binned the, the last little bit we had uh, the box because we've just eaten it I think it's like it's cookie dough so cookie dough cookie cookie <coughs> get me words out cookie dough and cream and something else with it I honestly can't remember Actually, I will let you know and I will Google it. I'll put it on the screen here. I know it's it's cookie dough and something else with it, but it's very nice. I, I recommend you trying that one. So we've got four, five, six. We'll go with six for now. Whenever you open a packet, guys, just a little handy tip. You need to peg it like literally peg it and if you don't know what that means it means getting a peg or the cold um, clips these twist in the end so you've got no air in it and just clipping it together that will stop whatever your item is going off and if you want some more DIY tips let me know in the comments anyway Let's get on to beating our biscuits. I mean, they haven't done anything wrong, but we need them crushed. So, three, two, one. going to evenly spread this out but I think six might even be too much we'll find out Guys, it's such a nice biscuit crunch bottom, look at that. Now, I'm going to use my spoon and flatten it out. And I'm hoping, oh wait, it's not going to do it, is it? I know, we need to melt a little bit of butter so it sticks together. So I shall do that now. Just put a bit in a microwave. I'm going to go with a tablespoon that's quite a lot of biscuit and just see where we are in 30 seconds guys and now we're just gonna pour it in I might even need a bit more than that and just mix it up and what will happen now guys is it will go like a biscuit crunch like you probably see in a oh what's the word I'm looking like a cheesecake actually if you want me to do a cheesecake I can do a cheesecake if you want one tablespoon is actually enough Taste test. Mmm. Scrumped the umptious, guys. That's actually amazing. That's better. Right, let's try again. Here we go. Oh, look at that beauty. Look at that beauty. I'll put a little bit more in. And we'll eat the rest. Don't 
want to overflow it with biscuit, do we? But I wish I could get another bowl, but maybe a little bit um, bigger. I'm going to have to shop around, guys. But that is absolutely perfect. Absolutely perfect, guys. I'm not even, couldn't even write this. I'm not even doing any preparing or I've made this before. Like, I've done an ice cream sundae in this, but not like an ice cream, you know, proper professional been on a boat before. Yeah. We have our biscuit base in hand. Next, we're going to go with our ice cream, I think. So what we're going to do is two vanilla and one chocolate fudge brownie. So let's open this, shall we? This is just like to die. I hope this isn't going to be too messy, but let's. We're going to put the chocolate fudge brownie one in the middle. Perfect. Brand new vanilla, guys. Wow, look at that beauty. That looks amazing. Here we go. Hold tight, hold tight, hold tight. Dripping light. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I'd say put the bananas on now. Didn't, you know, get really big bananas because I knew that we'd need more room for everything else too. So we'll go like that. We'd have so much uh, fun eating this, guys. You need to make it yourself. Honestly, you can even follow my, my steps. Well, that's a better way of doing it. Now we've got our bananas on each side. I'm thinking we're just going to get a little bit more chocolate brownie for the middle. Like a slice of it, like in the middle. Like so. Put that back. We're going to be getting some more swish up as well in our shopping. So guys, next we need some Smarties to brighten it up a bit. I think we need to brighten it up a bit. Don't you? It looks pretty good so far, but we want to brighten it up a bit. Lovely jubbly. Harry Bow next. You can get in it, guys. Bloody hell. Here we go. We're not going to be needing much, guys. Actually, to be honest, I wanted flake, and then I was thinking, nah. Flake's gonna go everywhere. Raspberry Ripple is just a little bit more hard chocolate. But you can still get the ripple. Well, excuse the pun. Ripples look 
how beautiful that is. We're just gonna sprinkle. Like so. Now we just want a bit of whipped cream. Brand new guys, just for you. Gonna put a bit in the corner, I think. sauce going on. We don't really use toffee that much. I think it's just a bit too sticky but today we will have toffee. So we'll have a bit like that and stop. We will have a bit like that. This is chocolate and stop and then a bit like this. Strawberry and then stop. In three, two, one, and stop. And finally, you can't forget the sprinkles. Now we need to zoom in on this. Three, two, one. That, guys, is how you make the most scrummiest most scrummiest, yummiest banana sundae boat dessert you can make. Here we go. How beautiful is that? I'm just going to put the lid on. Going to freeze this for later after we've had our gorgeous homemade pizza. Wow. That is jam packed, guys. Open eye through the waves cut through me, hypnotized by the sounds I'm breathing in. Hold tight, hold tight, can't make coast collide. Hold tight, hold tight, hold tight, dripping lights. Here we have it, guys. This is going to go in the freezer for about half an hour and 40 minutes. I'm going to have our pizza and then enjoy this monstrosity. You've seen a cinematics. It is amazing. It's very yummy. Ah, uh, yeah. Who needs to go to an ice cream parlor? You can make your own DIY Sam style. There's our beautiful dessert. There is the end of the video and I know, yeah, you don't like that. But don't worry, I'll be back next week. And that is it. So. Like I said, if you are new here, don't want to miss out, subscribe if you're new, turn those post notifications on, like, it is advertised in every video down here, you need your post notifications on, smash a like, and I shall catch you later alligator. Bye! Yo guys, there we have it, the banana split at your service. Smash that like button, subscribe if you're new, and I shall see you in the next one. What? <laughs>